Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Reyes at Cat CM Trading. Today is March 1st, 2021, and today is Monday morning. So welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody had a beautiful weekend. And looking at the highlights of the day, we watched the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones have a massive sell-off, but the sell-off is across the board as we look at the various markets. But first, looking at the economic calendar of the day, at 5 p.m. South African time out of the United States, we have ISM manufacturing PMI number coming out. It is an important inflationary number. Now, looking at the various markets we're watching, in terms of the currencies, the British pound have a little bit of a weakness at that resistance this level it retraces but the question is how much further now looking at the indices the dow jones and the nasdaq had that massive sell-off and we are bouncing in pre-market trading right now looking at commodities gold showing some weakness at 1750 while oil showing some resilience in terms of the stocks pretty much a sell-off across the board and lastly looking at bitcoin trading sideways on lower volume so let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading so we're going to start here with the Euro USD at a daily chart. And I'll tell you honestly, I haven't been following the Euro USD just because it's been really in a tight range. I mean, if we look at this from last week to this week, this is a 70 pip move. So not really doing much here. Okay, trading within this range, we are at that bottom of the range. Okay, we are looking at a daily chart. So it does take some time until this actually forwards into a major move. However, the GBP has really been our go-to. Okay, it's been much more volatile and showing much more character at these areas. Now, we did have this resistance that we hit here at 143, 142.30, excuse me, last week. And this was a multi-year resistance this level. Looking at a weekly chart, you can see a little bit clearer. 142, the last time we were here was February 2018. So this is a major recovery for the GBP. I do expect it to retrace. Now, I don't think we're going to break this eight day moving average. I think that's a little bit aggressive for us to do that. I think we're going to hover here for quite some time. Okay, but just be aware that we are at this top of the range. And we failed this 142.30 ish level, which is a major resistance ish level. Now, jumping into commodities, okay, looking at gold first. Look at this. We're looking at a weekly chart and we're testing this low, 1748. <clears throat> we tested it about three weeks ago when we hit about 1780 and we bounced off of it. However, this time we're trading lower. Okay, so the question is, are we setting ourselves up for a downwards trend? Now, looking at a weekly chart, you could see that a little bit clearer, okay, where we have three okay particular tops here that are lower highs okay so that is generally a bona fide lower trending setting up okay however we have multiple support levels here at this 17 ish level 1709 1665 if we look at a monthly chart even you could see that a little bit clearer so this is really major major traffic here okay in terms of support that potentially could happen right here as well okay so this area is really very important now if we do break this area at 1748 that we may see ourselves back okay as far low as 1554 okay so that could potentially still happen here now i don't think it will happen because i think the markets are still trying to absorb inflationary issues okay especially in the united states as they're printing money like never before okay so this is something to really keep an eye on now looking at oil oil trading at 62.69 right now this is an april contract we need to move it forward to may but you see that retracement from its highs but still relatively high okay every time it bounces below excuse me anytime it dips below the 30-day moving average it bounces above it okay so something to consider later today now looking at the dow jones okay we sold off crazy crazy week absolutely nuts okay this is they, they can't give you money easier OK, we had this ridiculous surge last Wednesday, a correctional move on Thursday and then a further sell off. So altogether, this was almost a twelve hundred point move on one contract. That's six thousand dollars in two days of trading. OK, so unbelievable volatility when it comes to the Dow Jones. Excuse me. And that was really fueled by the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq was really weak throughout this whole move upwards this dow jones move upwards where it broke to new highs right we were trading within this range for a long time okay we were trading almost a month <clears throat> excuse me 
at this 31 600 ish level to about 31 200 ish level okay and then finally breaking above it but that was a fake out breakout okay and for those of you who were able to jump on this okay good for you okay we actually mentioned this at the webinar when we were watching this okay as it hit 32,000 and capitulated at this area but look at that massive sell-off as we had that on the downside now what was previous support is subsequent resistance so this 31,300 is subsequent resistance okay so i do anticipate that to actually close up and then potentially hit somewhat of resistance and turbulence around this area now previously this was support okay this 31,300 ish level and certainly 31,200 ish level okay was support now we did breach that with some ump so that is really my first resistance ish level at 31,220 okay that may actually still see a sell off later today as we will close this off okay now the markets are still relatively weak when we look at the stocks they did sell off quite aggressively look at JP Morgan sold off over seven points in one day of trading Alcoa also gapping down and selling off okay as much as $23 from its $27 high now looking at the high-tech stocks also relatively weak selling off I wouldn't say weak but selling off looking at Microsoft Amazon okay but they look like they're flatlining here okay which means I do anticipate some sort of a bounce as we go into today's session now lastly looking at Bitcoin okay this has relatively been quiet after breaking out last week okay into this stratosphere of 57 900 ish level and we're right there at previous resistance subsequent support so we're right there okay really in between these two parameters so i wouldn't jump into this in either direction i'd like to see some clarity before you know this makes an aggressive move in either direction this is fred razak I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you mm -hmm.